Hello, I'm Edward A. G. Wallace, and I'm a poet writer. I'm a poet of the original form. Always have been, always will be. You demonstrate. You don't need to be uh, that particular person who worsens as he's trying to be pragmatic and formal. Sometimes you need to be informal and formal and formal and formal at the same time and demonstrate education while you're on the flow. Don't try to patronize people, condescend, talk down. Don't try to lend too many hands at once. Sometimes I'm a bumbling, fumbling fool who plays too much with his willing. But then again, I'm a silly billy. I don't know where I am sometimes. But then let us start. Let us be high. Let us not sigh. Let us fly to that ascended height. Find the flight where you can stay, then that equilibrium. The equal heart. Equal measure. Boy, for your pleasure. For your pleasure where every single thing within your heart combines with the brain as it should and it never parts you just find the sum connected all through connected you reflect it you never deflect any form of digression which seems to what am i saying i think i'm being abstract surreal thinking for myself philosophically speaking ponderous Sometimes you need to be derivative, derivative of the metaphors and similes that are similar to my own mind, my own mind. Sometimes you find something interrupted. You need to talk to yourself, speak for yourself, know who you are. Be on a par, be the moving star, luminescent while you feel the blemishes, while you're stressed, while I digress something else. These are the rehearsals of one that I finally will find something definitive. But you cannot define yourself within one particular tick. There are many ticks on life. Many ticks, many approaches, many loves, many variations of the love, many variations of that eternal flame. You sometimes forget the name, but you always remember the voice and the eyes. The voice in the eyes, the mind revealing game. Vocabulary sometimes is, in, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a stuttering, interesting game. Then you repeat it again and you say the same. Same and same and same and same and same. Sometimes it drives some people a particular way and good. No one's asking for your opinion. No one's asking for your onion. No one knows, no one wants, and no one flows if you do not saunter about. If the cheerless heart, if the cheerless dog, let the cheerless dog. So you have to think a particular way. If the cheerless dog have a wandering mind, let the cat go astray and find and then you pause again and say, no, rewrite it again. If the churlish this, if this happened, what's churlish? If the dog be this and be that. Just to show that you are not flat. That you are luminous in your own way. Rehearsals for the art form. Rehearsals for the art form. Of being an actual, genuine, true poet who's consistent and does not flatter to deceive and retrieves everything back, absorbs like a sieve, like a sieve, like in sonnet was a 237. Have I gone that far? Yes. No, yes. That's right. No, like sonnet 317. I, a sieve. I, many multiple meanings. Yes, multiple meanings, multiple meanings. How intolerant some people are of abstract thinking. Individualism within the collective malevolence. Sometimes you have to just be quietly benevolent and smile. Never trust generic political 
what's the word? Evil? I'll be uh, better tomorrow. Let's hope. Let's hope. Poet, I was never an actor. Just a reactor of my own mind, my psyche. As I rewind and repeat and repeat and repeat, like the swordsman's of yesteryear, but let the pen show its pencil and erase and rewrite and change the fate once again. Change the fate where no date and the eternal present is always there. And you stare and say, I see you once again. I repeat once again. I adore what I thought was a whore, but a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant. Boy, she's almost like a pheasant, a hummingbird. A word that I have not invented, a scent where it drifts, it shifts, it sifts, red, green, blue, oh boy, oh girl, oh woman, oh human being, you are true, you are true. And then you put it down, word form. Experimental stream of consciousness novel for the 21st century. The fluidity of thought. I'll see you in court, I said. You can tip, put this down, stenographer. I need a stenographer. Sometimes you just speak out loud. You become your own stenographer. You press record. You find your own award. And uh, you write it down. And you say yes without a frown. I think I joke a little bit, but sometimes bit by bit. While others are having a fit. I knit all of the knots. And untie. And I look to the sky and think, yes, repetition once again. Until I find something new again. I shouldn't have to prove anything. Just an innocent person expressing innocence. <laughs>